going to start off with this. This is a poster from the World Convention in London in 1986. It was on my birthday weekend, my belly button birthday. My clean time was earlier that year on the 13th of March 86. So this is 32 years ago coming up. And um, live from London. I've got some stuff set out that's um, historical and I, you know, I'm taking the opportunity to run through some of this stuff and just show you some of our early literature. I mean, very early literature. This is the start of our literature, really. This one's from 1953. Narcotics Anonymous started in 1953. So Jimmy Kay was five years clean in Alcoholics Anonymous. This is his meetings list, allegedly, from November 1953. He was five years clean in, in AA and he decided that you know we needed to help all these addicts. I think the AA were kind of getting a bit, a bit sick of people coming in that were using drugs. So these are the meetings that he used to attend. And then he started NA and this is their little white, the little white book. Um, here's the next one. And um, 50 cents it says on the back. So a little white book. The progression through to what we use today is this. Um, I've also got a UK one which is distributed by the UK service office and this contains some UK stories in the back. I was um, involved in service at the time when this one was starting to be printed so there's a possibility I was actually responsible for printing this one. So. This is quite an important document for me. This was um, the review um, form of the basic text sent out in around about 1981. It contains the first 10 chapters of what we know of the basic text today, plus there's some stories in the back. It's line numbered so people could send an input based on the lines and the pages, and I know. Um, there were certain people years ago pushing to get line numbered basic text for uh, translation purposes and you know to match up different lines in different languages and ironically <laughs> the first copy is line numbered so that was um, that was sent out then these two books this is the first 10 chapters this was what was approved to get printed as the basic text and the first 10 chapters um, are, are considered to be the kind of core of the program, if you like. This is what was approved for the stories part, for the second part of the book. Now what happens today with a lot of communities, they translate the basic text into their own language and they translate starting off with book, book one, if you like, and then they incorporate their own stories as they get them finalised and ready to print and some, some languages they're still working on their own stories so they have quite a thin basic text in many different languages where they've not actually got round to actually adding the, um, the stories that's, that's a, a thing for another day so those two, those two bits are quite important so then once the whole process got going, um, people were asked to send money to purchase a basic text and if you prior to printing so they could gather funds to be able to print the basic text. And what happened is you would then get this card once you, they'd received your money that said, thank you for your order for our new big book, Narcotics Anonymous. At the present time, our book is still in the printing stages. Your orders your order is confirmed and will be sent to you no later than November 1982. If you've not heard from us by November, please contact us by mail. And this is from the World Service Office in Sun Valley, California. So the first book was printed. And this was a numbered basic text and a red cover. These are quite rare, quite valuable and I've never seen any in Europe yet, so I'm in the USA and this book is um, quite special, you know, it was quite quite a, a privilege to actually be able to come and, and take a look at this. The other thing to know is that from this to this, 
there were some changes made. Um, these two represent chapters 1 to 10 and the stories. And in between this being approved and this being printed, Jimmy, I believe, intercepted somehow the process and made some slight changes to this. Okay, so this blue one, this is also a first edition, but not as many of these were printed because there was a little bit of an uproar about the red one because it didn't have the correct wording in. So only 1900 of these are printed. So there's less of these than the red one. From there, they then went from the first edition to the second edition, and the second edition had some of the original language put back in. And it's taken on the form, it's got the cover that we, we know um, today. Okay, so this is the third edition revised, and what happened was there's a the little white book which has chapters in. The chapters in the little white book reflect the first ten chapters of the basic text. But the little white book being quite quite old um, had a lot of language in that was um, felt not appropriate for Narcotics Anonymous. It referred to um, other fellowships and so there was a move to redo the little white book. So this is the newly revised little white book. On the floor of the conference people said well if we're doing the little white book we need to be doing the basic text as well. So that then led to the third edition revised which is this one which contained the new language that was more consistent with the with the message of Narcotics Anonymous and this is kind of pretty much the um, the edition that we're using. So <clears throat> This is the second edition, which is the same wording as the approval copy. And in Tradition 4, second paragraph, well, Tradition 4 is, each group should be autonomous except in matters affecting other groups or NA as a whole. Second paragraph, one might ask, are we truly autonomous? What about our service committees, our offices, activities, and all the other things that go, in and go on in NA? The answer is that these things are not NA. Okay, so just so you know, this was the approval one. There's, there's, there's lots of bits and pieces in that... Um, there's lots of bits and pieces that were changed, but this one, Tradition 9, the, the, the sentence that people argue about is, the ninth tradition goes on to define the nature of all things that we can do to help NA. It says we may create service boards or committees to serve the needs of the fellowship. None of them has the power to rule, censor, decide or dictate. They exist solely to serve the fellowship. And here it comes. But they are not part, not a part of Narcotics Anonymous. This is the nature of our service structure as it has evolved and has been defined in the NA service manual. So what this is saying is that service bodies are not part of Narcotics Anonymous. So that's the bit that I think Jimmy took exception to. Took it out in this copy. Again it was out in this copy. But the second edition, this copy, it went back in. Third edition, it came out again. So there's only really the second edition that has that in. Third edition, third edition revised. People like some of the language, dislike some of the language, and they've kind of, you know, what people have done is done their own mishmash of what's in this one and what's in the third edition revised. And that's um, that's that's what I think is going on. Um, and then we move on to the fifth edition and the sixth edition, which are basically um, you know the, the same as the third edition revised. The only thing that's changed in the 6th edition is the stories have changed and we, we had a moratorium for quite a length of time to not change the basic text and not so much to set it in stone but the, to keep the first 10 chapters consistent um, there's arguments about whether or not we should change those first 10 chapters um, but allowing the rest of the world to translate those first 10 chapters and then add their own personal stories seemed to be a good idea at the time. So 
that's um, <laughs> if I can if I can get that video together because it's quite complex for me to follow the process and you know complex for you um, I, I'm not saying anything is um, politically correct or incorrect but I'm just trying to present some of the facts of where this where this literature has come from and the process involved in uh, getting to where we are today and um, no comment